Hi guys, welcome back. I'm just gonna head up here for a sec, Ken, because uh, there's a source point for me to be delicious uh, first of you. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna attempt fate and open this coffin. Alright, you do that. Might as well eat the source. Here lies David Cray. All shall lose the race with death. All shall lose the race with death. Dude, death's a pretty quick guy, I know him personally. For you. Here lies Jin Akana, noted fencer, a near unblemished record. Here lies Maggie Sandini. Her hey, this is Spirit of Elizabeth. Grace, her soul went to another. Uh, Spirit. Oh, no, it's just regular soul. Uh, regular lizard. What are you talking yeah, about? Spirit, Spirit of a lizard by the uh, chest. What are you talking about? Like, uh, I, already looked, I already saw him because I you were over there. I was like, uh, hey, look, there's a spirit of a lizard. The lizard hums. Well, I'm talking to this one. Not a melody exactly, but more of a meandering moan. Ten spans under, humans slept. Ten spans up, the dwarves were kept. Lizards burned in lasting flame. Elven trees towards skies did aim. Dude, this fucking person smile. Lizard, few kin would roam around human graves. Ask what she's doing here. She looks to your left with one eye, and to your right with the other. Keeping watch, tending graves. Listen to her song some more. She ekes out a few more notes, then smiles at you with the innocence of a newborn. It helps me member, member where the dead go. Sometimes they don't stay where I put them. That's okay. Is she right? She flinches as you move closer. No, no touching. Her humming fades. The eerie silence lasts for several seconds. Riker might get mad. He doesn't like it when someone touches his things. <sighs> Who's Riker? She shivers and whispers. Powerful sorcerer. Lives here, right in the garden. He can take the you from you. No brain, just body. She points at her head. The servants. They got nothing up there. Riker has it all now. They need to be freed. Only way. Kill Riker. Uh, she wants to kill Riker? The servants. So lost. Chained by sorcerer Riker. But they can still go home to the hall. Set them free. The ensuing silence lasts for several seconds. Until she picks up the melody once again and turns away. Right. I'll go talk to the lizard now. I'm sure it's nothing important, I just had to mention it. No, I, I, I got it. Well, I'll stay here. I, I swear I'd maybe listen to it. It's hard not to feel some pride in reptilian engineering. I watched an elf spend hours trying to force his way into a lizard's chest. Eventually, he threw it into the flames. But still, it sits there, indestructible. He did not leave empty-handed, unfortunately. I pity the poor salamander that he dragged back to his ghastly home. To see an elf burning the body of kin, it turns one's stomach. Okay, well, nothing really here. She was just talking about the chest, but we've already opened it, so... Well, let me, uh, teleport all to you. I really need to put this back on the hotbar. I see you're already, uh, at this. Uh, there's a mass servant here. The masked creature is mute, save the occasional moan. So what does it have to say about, uh, so Beast told us about Isabel, Queen Justina's advisor. She appears to hold undue influence over the queen. Okay. I don't know why that's new. Uh, yeah, these are nothing. Reluctant servants. She implores to kill Riker in order to liberate all his servants. All right. Well, he's over here, I think, Riker. Is he? On the holodeck. On the holodeck? Oh, of course. I mean, he has a house called, like, Riker's House. Yeah. One sec. I'll take that. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it. Just in case. Is this actually his, uh, yeah, this is his place, actually. Let's, let's, let's go on in. 
As you reach to push open the heavy door, the coils and whirls of engraved wood dance into a new pattern. The semblance of a face arises, a face that seems to look right through you. Why are you here? Tell me, and mind that you tell me true. We need to urgently use the bathroom. We just attended a funeral in the graveyard. Is the reception here? Tell the god door that you are god woken. You come seeking knowledge. Let's do that one. Silence greets your answer. In the distance, you hear the screech of an eagle. Worryingly closer, you hear some kind of a moan. Time passes. At last, the lips on the door creak open and the door speaks. Enter. The face melts back into the wood of the door and the whirls swirl back into a floral pattern. A loud metallic click can be heard from deep within. Nice. One second. I think, I don't know, the bill is in proper formation, whatever. Riker lives well, it seems. Pity the location, so undesirable. Must yeah. be Riker's place. Only a madman would build a mansion on the edge of a graveyard. Mass servant. Well, there's still chests and stuff, but they're all things that we'd have to steal. I say let's find Riker first. Good call. Kin, you speak to Cure, hatched from the egg of Zora. It pleases Cure to speak to lizards once more. But why does a dragon kin leave the ancient empire? Why does a dragon kin come to such a dark place? You stare in shock. It's speaking perfect old tongue. You'd have no idea what it was saying if you weren't well versed in the Empire's ancient texts. Uh, explain that we're here to learn from Riker. The elf has many visitors, all manner of ape, but Cure never thought Kin would come here. Has the Empire fallen so far? The old master would never have allowed such folly. Visitors ask who comes to see Riker. The lizard hisses dismissively. All apes look alike. They dress in black, but come in all shapes. Tall humans, stunted dwarves, creatures that stink of death. All that is known is they arrived with gold and left with the promise that people will die. Uh... We've almost never heard the old tongue spoken. How did, how did he learn of it? Cure's old master taught Cure. Consul Zara, esteemed lizard consul, was the most prestigious master. Until the elf killed Consul Zara. The lizard lets out a low, rumbling hiss. Killed Zara for gold. Then he stole Zara's chest and stole Cure away. What happened to the chest? The lizard's tongue flickers, a wry grin spreading across its snout. The elf could not open it. Its magic was beyond the creature. In a rage, it was thrown into the graveyard's eternal flames, where it burns. Well, we opened that shit already. And burns still. My master's magic is powerful, and it will never fail. The chest sits safely burning until the eternal flames wither. All right, peace. A flaming Seem, amulet. Seems like a pretty chill lizard. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is... I found Riker. He's surrounded by his uh, guards, though. But, uh, yeah. I'm mad will he be if I move his chair. <laughs> Pretty mad, actually. Shit, how do I stop that? <laughs> okay, good. It's probably Shane Ping level. A visitor? Such a rare and exquisite pleasure. The elf tilts his head backwards, but his squinted eyes don't stray from yours. Call me Riker. Please, do avail yourself of my creature comforts. You've surely come a long way. He doesn't even know the half of it. Perhaps not. But I know the wilds are all the wilder as the void encroaches. Do you agree, Godwoken? How do you know that you are Godwoken? Don't be so naive. My doors only open on the occasion of truth. What you admit to them, you admit to me. 
red scale. Oh, interesting. So he knows because we told the door. Uh, oh, knocked on her own. Yes, oh, whatever. I also see you are not yet whole. He presses a slender forefinger against his tight lips and hums. Hmm. I'm not a generous man, but I could give you what you seek if you offer something in return. A completely fair exchange between sorcerers. Uh, what do you think? What is he? What is it he thinks you seek? Let's not be so secretive, my good fellow. You're dying to show off those smoldering talents of yours. You just don't know how to handle them. I can help you with that. I can share my bond with the source with you. Fill your well to the brim, make you a master. The rest of the story, well, it's yours to write. All right, what does he want from us? You must go to the Black Pits. There's a cavern there. In it, you'll find a stone tablet of considerable value. He points to the location on your map. Bring it to me. Dizziness. It lasts just a moment, but long enough for you to feel Zorstis's presence. You hear no words, yet understand. It's imperative you accept Riker's bargain. The episode passes. Riker is peering at you intently. He awaits your reply. Uh, why, why doesn't he just get it himself? Oh, but heading to the Black Pits would mean tangling with more magisters, and they're such a nuisance. I like keeping my hands clean, you see. What does the tablet do? It's a miracle of the ancients. Priceless, really, and powerful enough to draw the Magister's attentions. I won't bore you with further detail. Suffice it to say, it is safer in my hands than in theirs. What is he planning to do with the tablet? Riker's lips stretch and his cheeks bulge, but you couldn't rightly call his unusual grimace a smile. I'm a man of taste, as you no doubt see. A relic this significant would make an incredible addition to my collection. Don't deny an old elf his Simple pleasures. Yeah, sure, we'll do it. A promise you'd best fulfill. Riker bows his head deeply. Then you'll have the power you seek, if not the power that trumps it. There will always be one greater, you know. Now, please, don't let me keep you. Ask about Tarquin. Why did Riker ban him from the Stone Garden? Tarquin? Ah, that must be the fellow I found snooping in unwanted places. There are some types, deceitful types, that don't deserve to be among a place of such treasure. He doesn't appreciate what the dead can do for us, my friend. He turns the back of his hand towards you and waves it back and forth, nudging you away. Do be sure to see yourself out. These tomes demand my attention. Okay, so we gotta go do some other stuff. Let's go up the stairs. So we do the shit for him and then kill him? Yes. Prowls above. What? Ascend only if you seek it. The, the painting talked to me when I tried to go upstairs. Let's go. The painting told you to fuck off. No, it told me I'd die if I come up here, so that's why I'm going up here. Right, wise choice. Oh shit, sure, wait, you're not allowed in there. Uh, yeah, we're actually not allowed in any of these places. Yeah, they're, they're, the doors are locked as well. Uh, I mean, there's some interesting shit here, but we just can't we can't do anything here. So, all right, fine. Let's go. Let's go then. That's your call. Well, I mean, we'd have to deal with the the, the servants then. You'd have to unlock the doors and all that. All right, all right where's the? So shit? we're in agreement that we do his shit and then kill him. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm up for that. I mean, there's... the source, but then, by the way, it's time to die. <laughs> source hunter. I mean, we could kill him now. You, usually the game always gives you some sort of method of... So of... It's so far away. Uh, yeah, we didn't find Tarquin's shit yet. Uh, I'm gonna head for the treasure. Are you digging holes? <laughs> no. Let's open the coffins. Don't worry about it. Alright, I'm going down this way. Sauce hunter. It's like we've been this well, place before. There's there's a shadow tomb door here. Actually, I want to go check that out. I saw I it, go to the shadow tombs. I saw it yesterday. Yeah, that seems kind of cool. Oh, 
look at all these bones. Oh shit. It's fucking skeletons or something. Right. Nope, none of these bones have anything to say. Nope. I've spotted something. Where'd you find uh Sibiel? Oh, there's a button there. Press the button. No, oh, do it. Still sounds stuck. Must be more to it. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to be able to look around. I've spotted something. Another button here. Ah, success. All right, going in. Oh, dude, there's ghost levers. What, Get what out of there. I mean, ghost levers. You look. Oh yeah. Look in there. That looks fucking sweet. It won't budge. How inconvenient. <laughs> inconvenient. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out. Dude, do the middle one. Do Nukem door code. Middle one. It's locked fast. It's locked far. Maybe it's connected. It's locked. Maybe it's connected to some other. Me Maybe it's connected to some other mechanism. I'm having a look around. Ugh, it's shut tight. <sighs> Uh, connected to some other mech. What the fuck? <laughs> it just opened. <laughs> we lost. Mystery of the Sith. I thought that, I thought that opened the door. Uh, I'm having a look around. All right, so now this helps. Right, Yolo. No, the door. <laughs> <laughs> Locked. Uh, lock level one though. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, okay, close it. Maybe this one. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> hey. Don't, don't worry. Going? Okay, well, why don't you put, why don't you put fucking beast in there? The one least likely to die, yeah. Uh. Looks like I'll make it nice. All right, middle one. What did that do? Gross. Uh, that not the outcome I looked for. Hey, you're fine. <laughs> oh, it's cursed fire too. This is the worst. Yeah, but you just can't move. All right. Uh, Red alert. Should I uh press another switch? I trust you. Yeah. Maybe this one. Okay, so one does fire, one does poison, one does this thing. What did that do? Wait, it shocked you. What the fuck? Don't oh, tase me, bro. Really what I had in mind. Hey, oh, it keeps changing what the ground is. Hmm. What did that do? Oh, okay, I kind of understand now. This one. <laughs> hmm. <Not the> outcome <laughs> it's like one of those new grounds flash what games. Like, do? Oh, now the ground is all water. No. Did that torture work? beast no, not the outcome I hoped for maybe this one okay so that, that's the cycle between water okay I'm gonna make fire what did that uh, that's do? steam it's beast in a blender have gone better uh. oh maybe this one I did did blood maybe this one <laughs> yeah <have> gone <laughs> I'll try all right all right so what do you think the play here is because it's a uh, it, okay, so like it makes different surfaces here, and it combines them together. Shut tight. It shut. It shut. It shut. Do you tight. do you think like it has to do with uh, electricity or something? Because I think I could do that. Maybe this one. That's not really what I. Maybe this one. Hmm. What did that do? Maybe really like an electric steam cloud. Is that what you're trying to for? That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Sorry. What did that? What did that? I think a different. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Oh God! I think a different. Maybe this one. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not quite sure here, to be honest. I think you gotta cycle into the next one for the haste one is on like beast, mm -hmm. and then do the steam cloud. No, sorry. Basically, preface of the next one is one. elect the oh, really? haste what thing, the electric zap on beast. Oh. Hear that? Oh. I oh. I did it. I totally intentional, right? Yeah. Well, beast is an archon now. 
Cool. It worked out. Well, I think we should go down there. All this wealth's just been going to waste. Oh, baby. Oh, that's not... That's a lot of clay sentinels. That is an unusual artifact. You feel the unusual object's vast energy before your hand even touches its smooth surface. Upon contact, the semi-transparent artifact shivers and speaks. You know this language. It is an archaic tongue spoken only by demons for untold eons. Demons. When as one, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living. Restore my twin. Make me whole. In archive of old, the blade resides. An isle of blood where demons abide. Make us whole again. Uh, look more closely at the item. The oblong object is crystal clear and unmarked by marks or chips. It rests snugly in your palm, as if meant to be gripped with a resolute hand. Uh, what else can I tell you? The object repeats its cryptic remarks. Alright, that's in the pack. So there's another part to this thing. Methinks it's anathema. Uh, perhaps this is the artifact that Tarquin seeks. Uh. Let me just clean up in here. <laughs> I have gold. Chest. Just waiting for these clay sandals to come alive and try and kill us. Oh, dude, brittle spear. Finesse twelve. Unrepairable, brittle. Durability one. Well, that's oh. not good. Yeah. It's like a glass, a glass dagger. Yeah, but it requires finesse, so I can't use it anyways. Here, you effing can have it. And I didn't find amulet. Pyrokinetic and necromancer. I'll just give that to you. Oh, you got that one. So, hey, gold cup. What's the play here? So, are we allowed to just leave? <laughs> See what happens. Oh, wait, 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 actually, let me try something. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh. Uh, Spirit of Joanna Surrey. Unlike so many other spirits, this one is hardly silent. She clicks and squawks the moment you approach her, like a cornered crow facing down a hungry owl. Are you the new servant, then? My, my. You look like my old handbag, but dipped in cherry wine. You brought my tea, have you? Uh, play along and hold out an imaginary cup of tea. The spirit takes the invisible cup from you and takes a sip of non-existent liquid. I've tasted better brews, but from the look of you, the refreshments won't be improving. She waits a moment. Do you expect to get a tip? Well, here's one. Exfoliate. Take a deep breath, smile, a bigger smile, and ask her if she... Uh, ask her what shard she... Uh, what the shard you found is for. That old thing. It was passed to me by my father, Johannius. And my father's father, Johannius. And my father's 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 father, Johannius. Don't know what happened to the one in the middle. Don't rightfully know what it's supposed to do. Johannius, the umpteenth, brought it back from Blood Moon Island. I thought it might be good for stirring stew, but the cook gave it back. Said it made her feel funny. Whatever that means. Uh, okay. The spirit stands there smiling, as if she hadn't just uttered the words of demons. Luckily, you understood them. Anathema seeks blood. Tell her you'll bring a better cup of tea. She explains just what happened. What just happened? You mean my display of proper posture and etiquette? The benefits of charm school, I don't expect you'd qualify. Right. Hurry back. The eyebrows still need plucking. You're back. Yeah, that's that's it. All right. See if you found the first part of an athlete. Good job. Yeah. All right. Well, made necker fire. It's all good. I still, you know what? We still don't know how we make necker fire. To be honest, it's completely by luck. All right. It might be that it belonged to the guy though. Hey, you have a dialogue. Oh, do we? Oh, uh, hey. This thing speaks to me, but what is it trying to say? Am don't I replying to myself? Don't, don't you do it. No, hang on a second. Is Ethan replying to himself right now? Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, he is actually. <laughs> what? Uh, say. Uh, fuck. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna read this one out. Sounds like the same language as the Lone Wolf's password. Glesho de Ma. It's from, but fuck to me. Sounds like the same language as the Lone Wolf's password, Glekudamar. It happens every time, you fucking know this. But what could it mean? Uh, lovely old curio, rather precarious to touch, no doubt. Sounds like any other plea for mercy to me. Utter nonsense. <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. I don't want to find out if that's a warning or an invitation. Alright, one sec. Hey, where is the guy? Where's the guy we were talking to before? Now you want to talk with him? Yeah. Probably at the front gate still. Hey, there's a big fu- wait, there's a fucking- what's this place? Alright, never mind. I got distracted. Right, I respect that. Inspiration to our people. That inspiration. We're an example! In death. The dwarves give what the fuck's going on here? An elegant passing for an inelegant. In life, we are Earth's caretakers. In death, we are the skies. Oh shit, bloody dwarven flesh. The eagle glowers at you with one baleful eye, keeping the other eye firmly trained. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to these guys. Of rotting flesh dangling from its beak. Apparently, the beagle got uh, ambushed. Okay. The eagle glowers at you balefully, with eyes like shiny little buttons. One manicured and beribboned claw shoots forth to claim the stringy offal before him. Stretching his neck forward, he peers closely at you. Pretty eyes! Eyes that see far! The eagle's own eyes glitter with avarice. Uh... We died glorious deaths. Wonder why he pecks at that scrawny corpse when there's better pickings around. Peck, peck, peck. The eagle pecks free some choice lump of gristle from deep within the corpse. He swallows it whole, dark blood dripping from his beak and matting the fluffy feathers at his throat. Master died, but Master told me what to do. All my life told me you are what you eat. So I do. I will become the master. Unless you are not the new master, are you? Uh... Should I tell him I am the new master? Uh. Okay, I'll tell him I'm the new master. Yeah. The new master must first partake of the old master. Only then. Uh, pluck a few, uh, fourth a sinew or two of the rotting entrails of the former master took a bite. You chew it for what seems like forever, yet the texture does not change in your mouth. Tough yet moist, leathery yet slippery. It's disgusting. Sometimes you really wonder about how you make choices in life. Sometimes, like now. Yeah, that's true. The eagle hops from claw to claw, peering up at you with a berserk and bird-like excitement. See? Feel it? The power! Uh, pound your chest and claim you feel the full power of the master throwing through you. A hacking core breaks free from his ebony beak. Those little button eyes seem to twinkle in the gloom. Yes, kidney. Good for courage. Good for warrior. You will fight well. Now master's blood runs within you. Featherfall is with you. Together, we go together from here. Featherfall hops eagerly onto your shoulder and digs his claws in deep. He pecks your cheek in what could charitably be called an affectionate manner. Blood drips from the wound. At least he didn't go for your eyes. Wait, what the fuck? I just got a fucking spell. Nice, nice summon, dude. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's not an eight we one. Died glorious deaths. Not memorized. We were picked off by spies. That was no glory and no I need to see this. We are an inspiration to our people. Yeah, I get a bird now. We're an example. Flight, flight in your boy point. Uh, peck. You deal piercing damage and sets blindness. And deal air damage. And clear surfaces in a cone. Oh, sweet. Dude. Ooh. I keep getting all the fucking summons for some reason. Because you have pet pal. 
that was no glory and no pretty pretty cool uh pretty cool thing so i i had like we two things now i can get that guy's a good people. utility one though that's better than the bone widow to be honest We're an example. all right let me go talk to these fuckers two dwarven spirits at loggerheads uh, reach into the augment. In a flash, you are both of them, brother and sister. Your feminine side is a rebel, rising up against the tyrannical queen. Your masculine side is a royalist, loyal to the monarch he loves. As the brother, you rescue your sister from the pikes of the royal guard. Together, you flee across the sea to the melting pot of Driftwood and Reaper's Coast. But in Driftwood, you visit the lizard. You are the sister, and you know that something is wrong. You climb the stairs to rescue your brother and find him fighting for his life against the dwarves who would rob him. The fuck is going on? Both of you die, but your killers do right by their fellow dwarves and bring you here to lay you to rest. As spirits, you fight for eternity. One convinced that the queen is a tyrant, the other that your treason was wrong. Uh, okay, which one should I do? Uh, Stand up what you believe in, I guess, poor beast, even though he's not here. Fine, we have to stand up for what we believe in. The sister smiles. She feels vindicated. Her brother still does not agree. The rebellion was a disaster. The rebellion was a mistake that cost them their lives. Okay. Watching the birds pick your body clean is almost soothing. At least you know you're doing some good for a creature. And it means that elf ain't getting his claws on my corpse. Uh, an elf is after her body? Not mine specifically, but he creeps from grave to sepulchre, taking what he wants, whatever he wants. A grim expression passes across her face as she looks out over the graveyard. The dead don't rest easy in this garden. Not by half. Uh, that's the spirit of the elf is. He lives in the big house by the gate. I ain't about to wander up and ask for a name, mind you. The less I see of him, the happier I'll rest. Alright. The sister has found peace with what was her life, but her brother rages on. The rebellion was a disaster. His sister's treason cost them their lives. Well, that's it for that, I guess. Uh, Sibyl can also eat the, the, the dwarven flesh. Biting deep into the rotting flesh, your senses are assailed with a rank odor of meat long past its prime. Your memory wavers and becomes not your own, but the memory of one who led the most solitary of lives. You see myriad wings flapping, your hand scattering bird seed. You hear the screeching of eagles, the tearing of flesh. All of your life is centered on this place, this pedestal of death. All of your life is dedicated to feeding your eagles the meat of your dearly departed people. Nice. Oh, she got bone cage. We're an example. All right. I'm gonna go talk to him, Tarquin, real quick. Oh, fuck, this is taking forever. We're never leaving this graveyard again. Ah. Check out the Emily friend. Any luck in old lady Surrey's tomb? Show him the object you want. Is that what he wanted? He places his hand on the artifact, and it drones in the demonic tongue. When, as one, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living, restore my twin, make me whole. The object continues. In archive of old, the blade resides, an isle of blood where demons abide. It's true then, anathema, within reach. Tell me. Is this all there was? There weren't any other curios in there? Uh, consider Tarquin. He knows the de demonic tongue. But of course. I consider it my scholarly duty to know what I can of them. Surely you of all people understand the quest for knowledge. He breathes a long, lugubrious sigh. <sighs> it's time I leveled with you. This is the hand grip of the fabled anathema. A sword capable of annihilating anyone, even a divine. Imagine it, holding in your hand a force that could wipe away sun and shadow. A sword of life and death, miracle and sin. A sword of atonement. I can restore Anathema to working condition, but this is only half of it. We still need the blade. How fortunate that the hilt has already told us where to find it. Blood Moon Island. I reveal to Tarquin that your experience with the spirit and the heirloom. Fascinating. And it told you exactly where to find it. Histories are wildly incomplete. But now I have a better picture of how Anathema came to be. An exorcised demon living in a sword of glass. The hilt was brought here by one of the many Surreys. Not surprised. None of them sound too bright. 
I can't imagine having even half a demonic sword around was very healthy for that feeble-minded family. They probably wince whenever a black cat came around. I'll look around for the remaining piece. Well, well, well. You've got spirit to go with those smarts. Blood Moon Island awaits, my friend. It's a bit of a jaunt, but this gives me time to prepare my workspace. We'll catch up in the Lady Vengeance, yes? Tarquin doesn't wait for an answer. His attentions are already turned elsewhere. All right. You'll meet us on the Lady That's... Vengeance when we get the last piece. All right. Fuck, we were going to leave this graveyard like ages ago. Holy shit, this place became huge. Paradise Downs. Why do we get like so much fucking revealed area here? Oh, there's Bloodmine Island Bridge. <laughs> God. This never ends. There's so many things, places to go. I know. This game is super long. Holy shit. I want to go back to the island. Welcome back to the Wild Pirate 15065. Where we have more memes. Alright, let, let me just go to a place where we want to go next. We'll go here. This place looks good. Alright. Uh, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye.